Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. Pisces, this is your monthly reading for August 2022. So this is for um, August the 1st to the 15th. So Pisces, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So this reading can manifest the first half of August. It can manifest later on down the line in time after the first half of August. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading pertaining to your past situation or circumstance. So, Pisces, I did. I really didn't get messages um, during the pre-shuffle. But I did pick up on something that could possibly be an omen. Pisces, you might experience like a delay. Um, Because when I was getting ready to do your reading, Pisces, um, I got distracted from your reading. Um, something else came up. I had other things I had to do. And then I, you know, I was able to come back and do your reading. So you might experience some type of delay or some type of distraction um, from something that you was getting ready to do. Um, but you're going to be able to go back and finish whatever you was getting ready to start before you got distracted or experienced experience a delay. So, that's what was going on during the pre-shuffle. So, it wasn't really a message. It was just like an omen. Because of what was going on in my energy. So, I consider that like an omen. All right. So, because I didn't get a message during a pre-shuffle concerning the cards, and you know, I'm going to show you what's at the bottom of the deck, Pisces, that I'm, that I'm using. So, we have Mother at the bottom of this deck. So, we have Nurturance, Patience, Unconditional Love, Joy, and Giving Birth to Life. So, something to do with Mother or Motherhood. I heard Motherhood. Then, lo and behold, Pisces, we got Rose Feminine at the bottom of the deck. So, Pisces, if you a man, you could be dealing with your mother, a child's mother, some type of female in your life. You could be dealing with a with a feminine in your life. Pisces, if you a female, this could this energy could be you. This motherhood, this feminine, this rose. Um, then we have mental prison. Someone who is trapped in their head may suffer from mental illness, self-limited, self-limiting beliefs. Pisces, for some of you guys, um, you or somebody around you could be a first-time parent. Um, I don't know if this woman is um, pregnant or she's given birth, uh, but she could be a, a little bit anxious for being a first-time parent. Or this, this is this person's first time being pregnant. So somebody could be in a mental a mental prison about being a mother or being pregnant. Don't necessarily have to be, but. And then we had a Knight of Wands. So Pisces, you could have fire in your chart or you dealing with a fire sign. <coughs> a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. <coughs> then we have reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. At the bottom of this deck. At the bottom of this deck, we have invitation. So, Pisces, you could be receiving an invitation concerning maybe a baby shower, a wedding, some type of invitation. Or, Pisces, you're sending off invitations for like a baby shower or a wedding or something like that. <clears throat> Pisces, you could also be doing um, some type of webinar or seminar or some type of classes concerning um, maybe motherhood or being a wife or... Um, is it called Lamaz? Lamaz classes? Before you give birth and things like that. You could be, be given those type of seminars or something like that. Then we have communicate clearly at the bottom of this day. So let me just go right ahead and jump into the reading. All right. What's Pisces overall energy? Oh, it came right out. <laughs> okay. So Pisces. Your card came out in reverse. So, child, magical, Pisces, it came out in reverse. So, I'm going to take it like that. So, Pisces, you could be in your shadow energy. The second half, of, the first half of August. So, it say pessimism, depression, and disbelief in miracles. Believing that energy and action 
are not required for growth. So I heard denial. So Pisces, you or somebody else can be in denial. Some sort of pessimism, depression, and disbelief in miracles. Believing that energy and action are not required for growth. So Pisces, you could be in your shadow side, operating from your shadow side. A little bit low vibrational. You could be in denial about something, Pisces. You could be going through depression. Yeah. So child magical. Pisces, I also just heard you could be like, you gave up on your dreams, Pisces. This could, I don't know what your dreams is or was, Pisces. But you could have gave up, Pisces, on some type of dream you had. So you could be a little low vibrational because um, life might, may not be going your way. The first half of August. Yeah, so you could be suffering from depression. Or Pisces, you could also be going through something because maybe in the past, you probably refused to do shadow work. So you could still be... Pisces, this could be as something simple as you could still be stuck in a karmic cycle because of your way of thinking. So like they say, you are what you think. So it's like Pisces, um, for some of y'all, I'm picking up, you're stuck in a karmic cycle because you're not doing shadow work. So I'm, I'm just giving that for example. It could be your thoughts, Pisces, your thought process, something you're, you're not changing your thought process or, or how you're thinking about something. So that's the reason why it's like, Pisces, you could be blocking off your own manifestation because of your energy. Your shadow energy, your dark your dark side, um, Pisces, is blocking your manifestation. And it could be depression. It could be the way you're thinking. It could be unbelief. Because it says, believing that energy and action are not required for growth. So, Pisces, this can even be a situation you want something, but you don't want to put in the work to, to obtain something. It's like, Pisces, you expect something to just fall into your lap, and that's not reality. Believing that energy and action is not required for growth. So, Pisces, this could be the problem. You believe that energy, that you don't have to change your negative energy, or that you don't have to take some action in order to, like, experience growth or in order to obtain something. Yeah, so something like that going on with you, Pisces. You could just be stuck in a karmic cycle. Yeah, that's all that is. Um, Pisces, you could be being a little bit stubborn. Yeah. So I'm going to give an example. Pisces, say like you're having a hard time conceiving. You want to conceive. And Pisces, your doctors told you, Pisces, you have to stop smoking. You got to do this. You got to do that. It's like, Pisces, you don't want to listen to your doctors. You want to do something your way. You don't want to stop smoking. You don't want to stop drinking. You don't want to take the medicine. It's like you're rebelling. You're rebelling a little bit. Or you think that what your doctors are saying is unnecessary for you to conceive. I'm giving that for an example. It's like you want something, Pisces, but you don't want to... You don't want to... Do your part in order to obtain it. You expect to just get something without putting in the work or putting the effort or something like that. So, let's go on, Pisces. It's not that big of a deal because we all, we all go through things like that in life where we just stuck in our ways or we want things to grow our way or we want to do something the way we want to do it. That's all. All right, so I'm about to pull your self-care card. So what is spirit suggesting for Pisces for self-care for the first half of August? What is Pisces self-care card? All right. So time. So this is what spirit wants you to do, Pisces, for self-care, to take care of yourself. Time spent worrying is time spent. So, Pisces, Spirit wants you to stop worrying about something. Pisces, you could be scared to do something. So, Pisces, this could be a situation you want kids, but you're scared to get pregnant. And it's like, Pisces, you could be on birth control, and you don't want to get off your birth control. 
but you want kids and you and you could be upset. But it's like Pisces, you won't get off your birth control. So how do you expect to conceive if you don't get off your birth control? You could be scared to be pregnant or you're scared to be a wife or you're scared of you you scared of something, Pisces. You want it, but you're afraid of it. So your self-care, what spirit wants you to do, Pisces, is to sp spend your time wisely, basically. Time spent worrying is time spent. So, Pisces, you be wasting your time worrying about something instead of taking proper action. You worry too much about it. Instead of you just taking action, you're worried. And the it's like you're paralyzed with fear. <clears throat> Pisces, something is paralyzing you. You spend your time doing nothing but worrying, Pisces. And I'm talking about as far as whatever it is that you want. I'm not saying you're not a productive citizen. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you're spending time doing everything except for except for um, working towards what this thing that you want. You're doing everything except doing what you got to do to obtain something that, you're, that you want. So you're wasting your time worrying instead of taking action to obtain whatever this is that you want. You're worried about it. So this is your self-care card. Time spent worrying is time spent. So I'm taking this like as a warning, Pisces. This could be like a bad habit, Pisces. You could be depressed a little bit. Or it's becoming like a bad habit or something. You got to... Pisces, you stuck in the karmic cycle. And this fear is worry. Um, procrastination. So basically, Pisces, you wasting time. Spirit don't want you to waste time. Stop wasting time. All right, give me a message for Pisces. What's Pisces' message? The first half of all this. What's Pisces' message? Okay, passion and pleasure. Savor your life. So this is your message. Passion and pleasure. Savor your life. So Pisces, for some of you guys, you guys want kids. You want to experience what it's like to be pregnant. But Pisces, you scare as hell. Pisces, I don't know if you think you're going to pass away during labor and delivery. It's like this passion and pleasure could be intercourse. It's like, Pisces, you're scared to get pregnant, but you want kids. Passion and pleasure, savor your life. That's your message. I also just heard two Pisces for some of you guys. Pisces, I heard that Pisces, whatever is going on with you, I heard spirits say, Pisces need to go talk to like an earth sign. Pisces, you need to talk to somebody that's very practical. Um, possibly an earth sign. You need to have a conversation, Pisces, with an earth sign. Get an earth sign's opinion about something, about what you should do, how you should do it, when you should do it. Get an earth sign's opinion. Um, on the flip side of that, I also heard too, that Pisces, you can have earth in your chart and you're being too practical. Pisces, you being too practical. And spirit is telling you Pisces to just enjoy life. Let your hair down, enjoy life. Yeah, Pisces, you could be doing, being too practical and it's making you miserable, Pisces. So spirit could be telling you to just let your hair down, passion and pleasure, savor your life. So Pisces, I don't know if this could be a situation where you probably have children, but it's like Pisces, you have money, you can afford a vacation, but you don't go on vacation because you're being too practical. 
You're like being a mother. You're focused. You give all your attention to your children or your child. Instead of taking the time and balancing something and going on vacation. Pisces, you probably need a vacation. And I, I just heard spirit say, Pisces, you should be worried. Yeah, you, Pisces, you doing something um, that um, is starting to become like nonsense. And spirit is saying, you, Pisces, you should be worried. You should be stressed out because what you're doing is wrong or you're overdoing something. Pisces, you could be being too practical about something. It's like, Pisces, all you do is go to work and take care of your kids. You go to work and take care of your kids. You don't do this passion and pleasure because you're being too practical. And it's like, Pisces, you have the money or you can afford a vacation, but you won't go. Or <laughs> something like that. So I'm hearing also, Pisces, your self-care card is to worry. Like, you need to worry, Pisces. You... But some of y'all spirit is saying you should be worried, Pisces. You should be. <laughs> so I'm gonna be quiet. Because I heard that too. Pisces, you need you need to start worrying, or you should be worried about something. Pisces, this could even be you being depressed. And you saying, Oh, that I'm alright. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's normal. And it's like Pisces, your self-care card, spirit is saying, No, Pisces, you need to go, you need to be worried about that. You need to sit down and ask yourself, why have you been depressed for the past three years? <laughs> so this could be a, yeah, Pisces Spirit saying, yeah, you should be worried about that. Pisces, you could be saying, oh, no, that's normal. That's just a part of being a mother. No, that's normal. This is normal. That's normal. And Spirit is saying, uh-uh, Pisces, your self-care is to worry. So Pisces, what I just heard. You're worried about things that you shouldn't worry about. And the things that you should worry about, you're not worried about. And it could be your shadow side, Pisces. So, Pisces, you could be, like, on the borderline of, like, um, like a nervous breakdown if you're not careful. Because this could also be spirit telling you, Pisces, you gave up on your dreams, Pisces. So, Pisces, you could have gave up on something. You just gave up. And you could be like in a state of depression and don't even realize it or something. So it's like Pisces, you're not worried about yourself, but you should be. Because you you coming out in reverse. So you could have gave up on a dream or something or you just like gave up or something. So Pisces, just be careful. Uh, Pisces, you could have um, <laughs> Pisces, you could have Capricorn in your chart. <laughs> Cause that's kind of like Capricorn energy I'm picking up on. When Cap sometimes Capricorns can be so depressed, Capricorns have to really be mindful of their emotions. Cause sometimes a Cap, cause Capricorns don't like to tap into their emotions. It's like we feel emotion, but sometimes we have to analyze and understand what what's going on with our emotions. Cause we could be having like a, a, an emotional breakdown and not realize it. Because Capricorns don't like to, mm-mm. Yeah, so something like that could be going on with you, Pisces. You could have Capricorn in your chart. Or Pisces, you could be a Capricorn. Pisces, you, you watching this. You could be a Capricorn sun sign with Pisces placements or something like that. With Pisces placements in, in other areas of your birth chart. Because I'm, I'm picking up Earth. I heard Earth. Yeah, I heard Earth. So Capricorn, you could be um going through depression. And it's like you're more depressed than you realize it. Because I know sometimes I have to watch over my own self, my own temperament. Because I could be in this, I could be g going through something and not realize it. And I have to realize it. <clears throat> All right, so... What's, uh, I was going to say, what's Capricorn? What's Pisces, uh, Angel Ensign, the first half of August? Okay. So, choose a new direction. It's coming out sideways. So, 
Pisces, this is your angel answer. Spirit wants you to choose a new direction, but it's coming out sideways. So, Pisces, what I'm picking up is Spirit don't want you to give up on your dreams. He just... Pisces, I think Spirit wants you to choose a different perspective about how you're viewing something. Or Spirit wants you to go about your hopes and dreams a different way. So, I'm going to give an example like I was saying. Pisces, this could be you trying to get pregnant. And Pisces, you hell bent. You feel as though you can get pregnant the way you want to get pregnant. And Pisces, you're dismissing what, you're, what the professionals are saying, what your doctors are saying. So Pisces, spirit is saying, don't give up on conceiving. Pisces, do it the way your doctors told you to do it. Even if you don't want to, Pisces, do it. Do it the way the professionals is telling you to do it. So spirit is saying, you don't necessarily have to, have to choose a new direction. Just change your perspective or choose a different route. Yeah, I'm hearing like Pisces, don't give up. Don't give up. You probably just have to do something different. You can arrive at the same def destination, but you might have to just do something different. So, okay, I'm going to give another example. Pisces, say like you could be looking for a house. You're trying to get a house. You could be getting denied for a house, Pisces. Pisces, say like you want a, one, a single family home, but you're getting denied. Pisces, you still can become a homeowner, a homeowner. You probably just have to get a multiple family house instead of a single family house. Like you still can become a homeowner. You just have to do something a different way or do something, a, do take a different route, Pisces. Yeah, take a different route. So it's still possible for you to become a homeowner. It just might not be the specific type of home that you want. Or something like that. Or Pisces, maybe you want a condo. But you can't get a condo. So you might have to get a single family or something like that. Something like that going on with you, Pisces. But your angel answer is coming out sideways. So I'm picking up spirit is not saying for you to choose a new direction. I think spirit is telling you to um, just change your perspective or go a different route. Don't give up on your dream entirely. Just go a different route or take a different route. All right. So for, um, for the monthly readings, I'm just pulling two tarot cards as well. Because I got 12 signs to do. I got all 12 signs to do. And I know that I talk a lot. So I'm not. I'm only going to put two tarot cards. Because I'll be talking a lot. <laughs> so. What's going on with Pisces? What do Spirit want Pisces to know? What can Pisces expect? Yep. The fire of wands. So Pisces. You can have fire in your chart. Are you dealing with a fire sign? A Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius? Pisces, this could be you. This could be some internal conflict. Or Pisces, you dealing with some uh, conflict or competition. So this could be coming from somebody else or this is within yourself. Pisces, you could also be experiencing like health conditions. Um, sometimes to me, the five of wands is like high blood pressure, a fever, high cholesterol, things like that. The five of wands, something going on internally. Yeah, we got the four swords. So, Pisces, you could be dealing with an air sign or you have air in your chart, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. Pisces, you could be grieving because somebody passed away. Pisces, you could really be sick. Because somebody could have passed away, Pisces, in the past or the first half of August. Um, Pisces, you think you okay, but Pisces, you not. Something could be going on with you, Pisces. You could be dehydrated, um, high blood pressure, stress, depression. Because somebody could have passed away, Pisces. And you mourning. Pisces, you could be grieving someone more than you realize. 
I don't know how long time I don't know how long ago this person passed away. But see, that's what I'm saying. I'm picking up that Capricorn energy. Pisces, you're you could be more hurt or or you're hurt, Pisces, more than you realize it. Pisces, you could be grieving. Cause somebody passed away in Pisces, it could be affecting your health. And that's why your self-care card is telling you, Pisces, you need to worry. Something you need to, you should be worried about your health, Pisces. Or Pisces, you probably need to go see a therapist or something. Or go to the doctor. Or Pisces, you're pregnant. And Pisces, you could be obsessing about your baby. Pisces, I don't know if this is like your worst fear. You feel as though you're going to have a stillborn. Or, um, it's like, Pisces, you could be obsessing about something. Pisces, this could be even you. You're worried that you might pass away during labor and delivery, Pisces. You scared, Pisces? It's like you're scared out your mind, Pisces. Pisces, if you're pregnant, it could be because you're pregnant. So, your hormones is out of whack. So, it's like, it's heightening your fears and it's heightening your anxiety. Or Pisces, you think that your baby, your baby, oh, yeah, Pisces, for some of y'all, you guys are already pregnant and you're obsessing, you, you think you're, you fearing the worst. You're fearing the worst. Or Pisces, you nervous because your baby is not moving or you feel as though you don't feel your baby heartbeat or something like that is going on. You're having internal conflict. Or Pisces, you could be suffering from in, in, insomnia. This could also be insomnia. Like, you could be having night terrors, night sweats, things like that. It's like you try to go to sleep, but you be, like, waking up. Or Pisces, I don't know if you could be experiencing, like, um, what do they call that? When you stop breathing when you sleep. You could be experiencing that. So you could have like a sleeping disorder or something. Pisces, I'm also picking up. You could have gave up on your dreams because you have a health condition. Or Pisces, it's like you can't pursue your dreams because you're too worried about your health or something like that. So something could be going on with your health, Pisces, and, and it's causing you depression. And you could have put, like, your dreams on hold. Something could really be bothering you, Pisces. Um, Pisces, in the past or the first half of August, somebody might pass away, Pisces, and your family is in the uproar. Your family is just in the uproar, Pisces. They, they acting up. Yeah, because somebody could have passed away in the past or the, 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 the first half of August. Pisces, if this, you know, if somebody do pass away, my condolences. Who your family could be acting up, Pisces? Yeah. What's the spill with the five of wands? Pisces, you probably have to let something go. Pisces, you could be an empath. And you're picking up the emotions of others. Pisces, your family could be in an uproar. And Pisces, whatever is going on in your family, I don't know if this could be your, your immediate family or your household. I don't know what this is. But Pisces, you could be picking up the emotions of others and you probably have to learn how, how to detach. You probably have to learn how to, how to detach and maybe not even give a damn. Pisces, because these people's problems is not your problems. So, Pisces, that's why spirit could be telling you passion and pleasure. Savor your life, Pisces. Pisces, if your family or friends don't want to go out and have fun, you go out and have fun by yourself. Or something like that. Savor your life. Passion and pleasure. Savor your life, Pisces. What's the spill with the um, five of wands? Yeah, spirituality hater. Okay. So you can have some competition. Some type of competition. 
hating on your beliefs, not liking that you're untraditional, uncomfortable with your spirituality. So Pisces, this could also be concerning medical. So Pisces, it could be something that your medical doctors is requiring of you and you don't want to do it because of your religion or your spirituality. So Pisces, I don't know if you feel as though your doctors is coming up against you because of your religion. Or Pisces, you literally have a hater around you. And you five wands because of a spirituality hater. <clears throat> Pisces, somebody is hating on your beliefs. Not liking that you're untraditional. Uncomfortable with your spirituality. Pisces, somebody around you is uncomfortable with your spirituality. And Pisces, it could be causing, causing you depression. Pisces, you care too much about what this person think of you. So Pisces, I don't know if you could be dealing with your spouse or your parents or something. Pisces, you care too much about what somebody thinks of you and your opinion and your beliefs. So Pisces, this could be you and your spouse. It's like Pisces, you and your spouse could be having a, like heated disagreements because of your spirituality or your religion. And it could be causing friction in your um, relationship. Hmm. Or somebody wants to compete with you. What's the spell with the four swords? Yeah, oh my God, a hater. Oh my goodness, what the hell? Wants to knock you down to size. A person that simply cannot be happy for you, for your success, points out your flaws to make them feel better. Damn, Pisces, somebody being mean to you. Or somebody did this to you in the past, Pisces, and you haven't gotten over it. Pisces, I don't know what somebody could have did to you in the past. Pisces, I don't know if you could have got kicked out of a church or like a spiritual community. Pisces, something could have happened to you in the past. And um, it's like, Pisces, you you went from bad to worse because something could have happened to you in the past. Pisces, somebody could have expelled you from like a church or something. So you feel like you don't belong. Or Pisces, maybe your spouse or your parents or your family is disowning you. Because you have different beliefs. Oh, man. Let me see something. Then somebody being fake. So, Pisces, somebody being mean to you. Someone who isn't themselves to gain friends and popularity. They seem very nice to everyone. Yet trash talks them behind their back in order to improve their social status. Ooh. Oh, man, Pisces. Let me see. The Four Swords. Is this Pisces? I don't think so. Four Swords. Is this Pisces? No, that Four Swords is not you. Pisces, you could be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. Hmm. Pisces, somebody is competing against you, and they're not telling you. Pisces, you dealing with a snake. Somebody's coming up against you very subtle. This person could be very intellectual, but they're a hater. So Pisces, somebody is like killing you softly or you don't know is this person that's doing it to you. So it's like, oh, oh Pisces, somebody just stopped speaking to you. Pisces, it could, it could be an air sign. This person like just stopped speaking to you. And it's causing you depression. So Pisces, I don't know who this air sign is. It could be your lover. It could be somebody that you once looked up to. But Pisces, I'm picking up somebody. They just stopped speaking to you. Or they're going to stop speaking to you the first half of July. Pisces, somebody playing games with you. They just going to stop speaking to you. And they, this person wants to break you down to get you to do something their way. They just going to stop talking to you. So, Pisces, if you go to, like, church or something, 
It's like you could have gotten into a disagreement with one of the people that go to your church. In Pisces, this person went and told the other person. So everybody in the church know whatever. And it's like Pisces, everybody just stopped speaking to you. They just stop. But Pisces is telling me somebody wants to knock you down to size. A person that simply cannot be happy for your success. This person points out your flaws to make them feel better. But Pisces, this person is like giving you the silent treatment. But it's to knock you down to size. Yeah, Pisces, somebody playing with your emotions. That's what this is too. Pisces, somebody is bringing down your vibration. Pisces, somebody playing with your emotions. The shadow. You in this energy, Pisces, because of a hater. Pisces, you're pessimistic. You're depressed. You have a disbelief in miracles. Pisces, somebody's making you not believe in your own miracles no more. Oh, Pisces, somebody is, um, I don't know if this could be a spiritual leader or a mentor of yours, Pisces. Yeah, Pisces, somebody doing you wrong. Oh, man, that's not right. The five of wands, is this Pisces? Yeah. Pisces, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or got Scorpio in your chart, or you could be dealing with an Aries and got or got Aries in your chart. <clears throat> Pisces, I'm also picking up. You're dealing with the type of person or a group of people. Pisces, it's like if you don't believe this person, don't know how to agree to disagree. Pisces, this is the type of person if you do not agree with them. It's like they'll treat you as if you're an enemy if you don't agree with them. Or if you don't do something the way this person wants you to do it. It's like this person will just stop talking to you. They'll act like they don't know you. they probably be calling you names, Pisces. Or they give you the silent treatment. But this person is a hater, Pisces. It hate came out twice. This is crazy. So this could be 3D and 5D. That's why I'm picking up. The hater came out twice. So, Pisces, this person could be doing spell work on you. They're doing something on the 5D and the 3D. So, Pisces, this could be a situation where someone could have a voodoo doll. And they have a voodoo doll for you, Pisces, at their house. They have a voodoo doll. And then it's like when they see you, Pisces, they give you the evil eye because they want to solidify their spell work. They already have a voodoo doll. They're offending you on the 5D, but when they see you on the 3D in person, they give you the silent treatment. They won't talk to you. And then when they do talk to you, they put you down. So this is like 3D and 5D. They hating on you on the 3D and the 5D, Pisces. Oh, Pisces, somebody's not, oh, yeah, toxic ways. Pisces, somebody could also be jealous of you, too. Pisces, you could be dealing with somebody who's, like, in the same situation as you. Pisces, say, like, you had a friend, and you and your friend, Pisces, you guys, both of you guys could have been barren. It's like, that's why you and this person became friends. Because y'all both had the same problem. So basically to a certain extent, Pisces, you and this hater, at one point, y'all was trauma bonding. What might be happening the, the first half of August is Pisces. You're being delivered from some type of trauma. So this could even be you conceiving. And Pisces, somebody could be jealous of you because you have conceived, conceived in this other woman. She's still bearing so, Pisces, somebody want to knock you down the size. They don't want you to make... This person don't want your dreams to come true because theirs is not. And I'm giving becoming a mother as an example because of the cards that was coming out. So, like I said, again, Pisces, you could have been friends with this woman because she's barren just like you. But, Pisces, this first half of August, you might find out you're pregnant and this woman is not pregnant. She's still barren. So she's going to become a hater. And 
And this woman might be saying, oh, Pisces, you sure you actually want to go through with it? You sure this going to happen? You sure that's going to happen? You sure the baby going to be okay? I really believe that you shouldn't be having a baby because of your age or you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that. But it's because Pisces, this, this lady is a hater. She wants you to still be barren like her. She don't want you to receive a miracle. She don't want you to go to the doctor and try to get um pregnant. She don't want you to do no type of fertility treatment. Because this lady is saying, what if Pisces dreams do come true? What if Pisces do get pregnant? Yeah, it's like somebody don't want you to pursue your dreams. They're a hater. So it's like they're not talking to you. And then when they talk to you, they put you down, Pisces. They make you doubt yourself. They make you feel foolish. Give me a charm card for the five of wands of spirituality later. Pisces, I heard. If, if you a man, Pisces, this could be your mother or your ex-wife doing this to you. Pisces, if this is your mother doing this to you, she's doing it because your mother could be jealous of your wife, Pisces. Or Pisces, if you a man, you could have married outside your race or outside your religion. And your mother is like bringing shame upon you. It's like your mother constantly reminds you that you marry outside your culture or you marry outside of your religion. Or something like that. Then we got compass off course. Yeah. Pisces, somebody trying to throw you off course. Pisces, somebody could be doing spell work against you and there is, it's affecting your health. You off course. Pisces, somebody's trying to throw you off course or you're going to be off course because of this hater. Because Pisces, somebody not talking to you. So I see in the cards, it's like Pisces. Somebody you interact with like on a regular basis is going to just switch, switch up on you the, the, the first half of August. And it's like, Pisces, you're going to be like, hi. And Pisces, this person not going to speak to you. And then it's like, Pisces, you're going to go home and, like, start crying. Or it's like, Pisces, your your blood pressure going is going to, you're going to get high blood pressure. Or you're going to get a fever, Pisces, or something like that. Because somebody didn't speak to you. But it's mind games. This person playing games with you, Pisces. They're a hater. And they throwing you off course. Give me a charm card for the four of swords and this hater. This is crazy. Yeah, Pisces. See this person mad because they're, they are they don't have the crown. They didn't get crowned. So, Pisces, this could be a woman that she's still barren. She want to have kids. And she can't have kids. And, Pisces, you, you can or something like that. Pisces, if you a man, this hater can be like your ex. And she's mad because you guys are divorced. And, Pisces, you could be remarrying or something. Or Pisces, this could be your parents, and they're mad at you because you're still single. You, They want you to be married by now, and they could be mad at you because you're still single. And Pisces, you could still be single because of your, because of your beliefs. Pisces, you probably feel as though I'm not going to marry a woman until I know I love her. And Pisces, your parents probably want you to get married for traditional reasons. And Pisces, you saying, I'm not marrying anybody unless I know I love her. I'm marrying for love. I'm not marrying for tra tradition. So Pisces, it could be your family or your parents that could be disowning you or something. Because you refuse to get married or something. Or oh, Pisces, this is like your ex-wife or ex-husband or something. And Pisces, this person is mad because you won't crown them. Or he's mad because you wouldn't let him crown you or something, Pisces. Somebody's upset because they're not getting honored. They didn't get this crown. And Pisces, because this person didn't get this crown, Pisces, this person trying to make you feel inadequate like you don't deserve it neither. So Pisces, if you a female, be careful because this could be like one of your besties, like a best friend of yours or something, Pisces. And this woman jealous of you, Pisces. And um, Pisces, your bestie, she's going to make it known that she don't like you. She's jealous of you. She don't appreciate the fact that you're married and she's not. And somebody's trying to throw you off course, Pisces. 
Because this person didn't get honor. They didn't get crowned. And it's concerning spirituality as well. I'm picking up 3D and 5D Pisces. This person don't like you for 3D and 5D reasons. And they could be doing spell work on you too, Pisces. And then when they see you, they, solid they solidify their spell work by not speaking to you. Or like I said, when they speak to you, Pisces, they bring you down. So Pisces, be careful because your competition, your hate of Pisces is like winning. They're getting the upper hand over you. Because Pisces, I see why that this is your energy. It's coming out in reverse. You in your shadow side. And Pisces, you're in your shadow side because this person put you in your shadow side. That's why. Because somebody put you in that energy, Pisces. So again, Pisces, I don't know who this... <coughs> I don't know who this person is. <coughs> Excuse me. Pisces, I don't know who this person is to you. But Pisces, this person has influence over you. Pisces, if this person is a complete stranger to you, or a stranger to you, Pisces, this person is definitely doing like uh, dark magic spell work on you. Yeah, if this person is, so for example, Pisces, say like you a twin. Divine, uh, Pisces, this could be your twin's karmic that's doing dark magic against you. That's bringing down your spirit. That's bringing down your vibration. But Pisces, if you see this person every day and you close to this person, I don't know. Who, I don't know. They could be a parent or like a mentor or something. Somebody you look up to. This person has power over you, Pisces. And I don't know how they got that power over you. So that's what's making me think this could be your parents. Because Pisces, I see why your card is coming out in reverse. Because this person, this hater, they put you in this energy, Pisces. So, Pisces, I hear spirits saying, Pisces, I hear spirits saying to you, Pisces, who rule your life, Pisces? Who you going to let rule your life, Pisces? You going to let me rule your life? Me, spirit, the most high, I'm God. You're going to let me rule your life, Pisces, or you going to let this hater rule your life? What is going to be, Pisces? Because it's like, Pisces, spirit is allowing this person, because you're allowing them to do it to you, Pisces. Yeah, Pisces, you got to toughen, like, get a thicker skin or toughen up or something like that. So, Pisces, I don't know who this person is to you. So, Pisces, the, this is your angel answer. Choose a new direction, but it came out in reverse. So, Pisces, say, like, you dealing with a supervisor at work. Or you dealing with like a mentor or something concerning spirituality or concerning church or religion. It's like Pisces spirit is telling you don't quit this job. Don't stop going to that, to that church. Pisces spirit probably wants you to expose this person and what this person does to you. Pisces this could be your spouse. And Pisces you join like a church. It's like Pisces. You don't have to sit there and let your spouse abuse you. You can tell like the elders or somebody in the church what your spouse is doing to you. It's like you don't have to really leave your spouse, Pisces. You don't have to divorce your spouse. You don't have to um quit this job. You don't have to leave this church. Pisces, spirit could be telling you to tell somebody what this person is doing to you. It's like somebody bullying you, Pisces, and it can even be your spouse. And Pisces, if you go to church or something, you... You can tell on your spouse, a Pisces, whether you are male or a female, you can tell the, the preacher or the pastor of the church or the elders. You can tell somebody, Pisces, because somebody doing you dirty, Pisces, and you don't have to deal with that. Because it's like, Pisces, when you tell or expose this person, I'm kind of picking up this person going to change because they're exposed. Or something like that going on. Pisces, Spirit don't want you to choose a new direction. He wants you to stay like where you're at. But do something different. So I'm. this could also be exposure. Like tell on somebody or something. 
or something like that. Or, or Pisces, if you don't tell on this person or expose this person, spirit wants you to stand up to this person or something like that. Let, let me put an advice on this energy because this, let me see. All right, so I had to get my advice that this is the deck that I use for advice. So Pisces, um, let me see an advice card, what you can do about this person. This is crazy, Pisces, what this person is doing to you. Pisces, for some of y'all, you're unsuspecting. Like I said, Pisces, this situation could also be out of your control. So like I said, Pisces, this could also be a situation where you're with your twin. And this could be your twin's karmic doing hella spell work. Heavy dark magic over your life, Pisces. And it's taking over your life. It's like the spell work that this karmic is doing is successful. So it could kind of be out of your control too. And Pisces, you're going to have to some type of way get back control over this. You might have to fight, protect yourself. When I say fight, I mean like spiritually, not literally. But Pisces, you're going to have to fight or defend yourself against this dark magic. And whichever way that you see fit or whichever way that you know, you might have to work with crystals, pray, whatever. Because this could be out of your control, Pisces. This could be a third party that's doing this spell work on you. Making you sick, giving you a fever, something like that. All right. So, Pisces, I just heard, Pisces, you got to get in the fight. Pisces, you have to get in the ring. You got to get into this fight. So, Pisces, if you dealing with somebody that's doing, um, like, spell work or dark magic against you, Pisces, you're, you're, you got to get into this fight. You have to participate. Pisces, if somebody is attacking you, you have to learn how to protect yourself or fight back. Whether this is 5D or 3D. But I'm picking up this is 5D. Pisces, I don't know your religion. I don't know your spirituality. I don't know your faith. But Pisces, you might have to learn how to protect yourself against this spiritual warfare, this dark magic, this spell work. You might have to get knowledge on how to defend yourself instead of just sitting there laying in the bed and having a fever and being sick because of dark magic. It's like, Pisces, you're going to have to get up and, and protect yourself. This could be crystals. This could be saging, um, taking spiritual baths. This could be prayers. You might have to get some oil and anoint yourself. Pisces, whatever you do to protect yourself. Pisces, you just can't sit there and let this person just do dark magic on you and just sit there and lay in the bed. You have to participate and do warfare. Practice warfare. Because um, Pisces, that's what this person is doing against you. They're doing warfare against you. That's what this is. This is warfare. And Pisces, that's why you off course. So, <clears throat> all right, what's Pisces' advice dealing with this hater? What's Pisces' advice on how to deal with this? What is Pisces' advice dealing with this hater? Acceptance. So, Pisces, Spirit wants you to accept something. And, Pisces, I think Spirit wants you to accept that this person is a hater. So, Pisces, I don't know. Pisces, I don't know if Spirit could be telling me to tell you you need to get a divorce. If this is your spouse, Pisces, you probably got to get a divorce or something. Or Pisces, you need to go to marriage counseling or something. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Yeah, Pisces, you're not changing this person. Whoever this person is that don't like you, they're a hater. You're not going to change this person, Pisces. And Pisces, don't sacrifice yourself for this person because they're not worth it. Pisces, this, is not, this person not your child. This person is not your child. You only sacrifice yourself for children. Mm -mm. Pisces, it's like you're sacrificing yourself for this child, for this person. Don't sacrifice yourself for this person. Beat this person down. Beat them back down, Pisces. Beat this person down. Beat the brakes off of them in the spiritual realm. Because that's what they're doing to you, Pisces. So acceptance. I am learning to accept that the things that I cannot change. 
So Pisces, your advice in concern of dealing with this hater is to learn to accept the things that you cannot change. So Pisces, I don't know if you could have married a karmic and spirit wants you to accept it, that this person is not your twin, they're a karmic. Accept it. Pisces, this person not changing. You're not, this Pisces, this person can't change your beliefs and you can't change this person's beliefs, Pisces. This person not changing. And spirit wants you to accept that and do what you got to do. So it's like, Pisces, you either going to accept it or you're going to remove yourself from this person. But don't let this person beat you down. Don't let this person mistreat you. So, Pisces, this is something that you don't want to accept. But, Spirit, your advice is to accept it. Accept it, Pisces. Whatever this is. Pisces, you probably want, like I said, Pisces, for some of y'all, this could be your bestie or somebody you was trauma bonding with. And it's, it's like, Pisces, you're you're attempting to improve. You're, in, you're attempting to get out of this rut. But this person want to stay in the gutter. So, Pisces, you probably got to accept that you and this person's friendship is over. It, 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 it ran its course, Pisces. This person is no longer like your bestie. Pisces, this could have been your childhood friend. And it's like, Pisces, you outgrew this person. So, it's just time for you, for you to move on. This person is no longer your friend. Or something like that. You out, y'all outgrew each other. And Pisces, this person went from being your friend to your hater. And this person trying to beat you down in the spiritual realm. <coughs> so Pisces, you can't, you can't change that. This person is who they are, Pisces. You can't change it. So Spirit wants you to accept it. Let me see. What would be Pisces energy if Pisces wasn't if Pisces um takes spirit advice? What would be Pisces overall energy if Pisces accepts spirit advice about this hater? Yeah, we have goddess. We have goddess. So Pisces spirit is showing you what it is versus what it can be if you take spirit advice. So Pisces, if you was to do what you got to do, Accept something. Your um, energy would be the feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force, and sensuality. You would be like a goddess, the empress. But Pisces, because you're not exactly where spirit wants you to be right now, you're, in, you're operating in your shadow side. You're depressed. You have a spirit of unbelief on you. Yeah, Pisces, I heard trauma bonding again. Pisces, you've been trauma bonding with somebody and spirit wants you to leave this person behind. You've been trauma bonding. And Pisces, because you've been trauma bonding with this person, you're experiencing pessimism, depression, and disbelief in miracles. Believing that energy and action are not required for, for growth. So, so um... Pisces, you could be dealing with a karmic and you a twin. Or Pisces, you could be a karmic, but you have the potential to evolve. So it's like Pisces, you and this person, both of y'all could be karmics. But Pisces, you want to evolve. You want to become a twin. You want to, not a twin, but you want to become a divine feminine or divine masculine. So spirit is telling you, Pisces, get away from this person. Get away from your, your friend. Because I want you, I want to position you so you can evolve. Because your friend is not ready to evolve, Pisces. Both of y'all can be karmics, Pisces. But you ready to evolve. Or Pisces, this person is a karmic and you're a divine feminine or divine masculine. And spirit is telling you stop trauma bonding with this karmic because they're pulling you down. They're making you low vibrational, um, Pisces. Yeah, so Pisces, this is what the energy that you can be and this is your potential right here the feminine and i heard this say the ultimate feminine expressed through wisdom nature life force and sensuality so pisces if you're a female you could be dealing with like a masculine 
and he don't want to get you pregnant or he don't like having sex with you. It's like, Pisces, this man make you feel bad about yourself. Mm-mm, Pisces. Yeah, it's like, Pisces, this man don't want to get you pregnant or he don't like having sex with you. Or something. So it's like, Pisces, you depressed. Pisces, if this, Pisces, if you're a female and you're dealing with a, like a karmic lover. <laughs> Pisces, say like you always wanted to get pregnant. Pisces, you're dealing with this karmic masculine and he don't want kids. Pisces, spirit is saying, why are you giving up on your dreams on becoming a mother? Because this particular karmic masculine don't want to get you pregnant. Pisces, spirit is telling you. Don't give up on your dreams on becoming a mother. Leave this karmic masculine and find another man who's willing to impregnate you and be with you or impregnate you. That's what this is too, Pisces. It's like Pisces. You're about to throw away your dreams and hopes of becoming a mother because this particular man who you're probably not even married to, he don't want to have kids. So Pisces spirit is telling you, you don't have to choose a new direction, Pisces. You can still keep your dream. You want to become a mother, but you're going to have to leave this karmic masculine. you have to leave him, Pisces. Especially if you're not married to this man, Pisces. Pisces, it's like, don't give up on what you want to be. If you want to be a mother, leave this man right here. If you ain't married to him. Pisces, you will find another man that's willing to be with you and or impregnate you. Hmm. Mm -mm, Pisces, you <laughs> Pisces, I heard you can be Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Pisces, you can be Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. So Pisces, that's what I have. I'm gonna end it. So Pisces, I don't know if you've been trying to over the over the years to try to trick this man and beg this man to want to have kids by you. And it's like, Pisces, this man don't want to have kids. And he not changing his mind. So, Pisces, spirit wants you to accept it. Pisces, you trying to force this man to get you pregnant is causing you depression. And you, it's like you, Pisces, it's causing, yeah. So. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And Pisces, enjoy the month of um, the, the first half of August. And thanks.